Welcome back guys to my Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix 100% walkthrough guide. That's just your host Derek and uh, this video is going to be rather long but it is going to pretty much compile all of the puzzle pieces and all of the last chests to get along with uh, some other interesting tips and whatnot. Uh, what makes it mainly is going to be prioritized around all the missing puzzle pieces that we have if you're following my guide. If you're following my guide, then you should have the exact same missing puzzle pieces as I do, and while watching this video, you'll be able to obtain all the rest of the puzzle pieces. So that's what this video is for. It's not to shortcut and try to get all the puzzle pieces in the whole game so you can just watch this video and play your game. This video is meant for using my guide. So, we're going to be going in chronological order, starting from pretty much top to bottom here, and we have, uh, let's see, we have four missing puzzle pieces in Twilight Town. We can check our journal here. So, we have four missing in Twilight Town, and we have a couple leading down the list, and we will be gathering the rest of these, All the, and we'll leave the Radiant garden at the Cave of Remembrance for the very last. So we'll go ahead and start out here in the Twilight Town and land at the usual spot. So once you arrive at the usual spot, uh, make sure that you have done some pre-leveling before, uh, namely your namely your forms here. Uh, what you're going to want to mainly have is uh, you're going to want high jump level 3, Aerial Dodge level 3 and Glide level 3. That will pretty much let us freely get all of these puzzle pieces with no problems whatsoever. And then make your way up to the left here at the Station Heights. Now you'll notice there's a puzzle piece right there. So what we're going to have to do is come all the way up to the top here. And at the top of this you want to jump, Aerial Jump, and then Glide all the way on the side and collect that puzzle piece right there. So after you've grabbed that, go ahead and head to the Tram Common area and make your way to the back of the mansion. So you'll notice a mushroom here. I will make a separate video on how to do all of those and get the maximum points you can get. So we're going to head into the mansion foyer here. Ignore these nobodies and you're going to want to come up to the top railing up here and look behind. And there's our puzzle piece. So go ahead and glide over to that bad boy and pick him up. So while we're, right, while we're here we're going to shortcut this method. Head into Nominee's room here and hit the save point to teleport outside the world map. So once that's the world map, you're going to want to go back into Twilight Town. If you do have the Sorcerer's Loft uh, checkpoint, you're going to want to go to the tower entryway here at the very beginning. So once you enter the tower entryway in Twilight Town, take a step out the tower door, look to your left, and there's our third puzzle piece right there on the staircase. And another mushroom. So make your way back up into the tower entryway, hit the save point here, and then travel back to the Sorcerer's Loft. So once you're up here at the Sorcerer's Loft, go ahead and take a step into the wardrobe room, and there's our last final puzzle piece for Twilight Town sitting on this desk right here. So after you've grabbed that puzzle piece, we will meet in the Land of Dragons. So once you reach the Land of the Dragons here, go ahead and embark at the Bamboo Grove. And then make your way to the encampment here and ignore these Heartless. So as soon as you come in here, you want to take a sharp right and climb up on this podium here. And then jump, aerial dodge, and glide for our first puzzle piece. And as a reminder, if you didn't happen to get that last puzzle piece, it's over here by the the pole, and you should be able to reach that 
by just jumping over there now with all of our fucked up skills. So after you've got that puzzle piece, go ahead and make your way to the checkpoint. And then make your way up the mountain trail here. And then once you enter the village, you'll remember the puzzle piece that we had gotten previously. Make your way across the houses and pretty much grab this puzzle piece right there on the top. So once you grab that puzzle piece, hit the save point. Go out to the world map. And then head back and enter the throne room. So our last two puzzle pieces are in here and come back to this area back here for the far right one. Then jump and glide to get that one. You could also access it versus just jumping and aerial dodging now that we have our maxed. But this one over here does require a glide. So go ahead and hop in this back corner. Jump, aerial dodge, and glide out to grab the last remaining puzzle piece in Land of Dragons. And as always, you can check your updates in your journal. So we have King Mickey Heads on all of the Land of the Dragons, except for the missions and character links. And I will be making a separate video on missions and minigames, all in one video throughout all of the worlds, all segmented together, so you guys can keep a chronological list of exactly what you need to do to fill out this part of the journal. So join me at Beast's Castle, where we have two puzzle pieces to get. So as you land here in Beast's Castle, you may be restricted to Beast's Room, and if you are, go ahead and just land there. Then make your way out to the West Wing, and just fly your way back to the entrance. So once you enter the entrance hall, you want to make halfway down the steps here, jump and glide over to the center of this area right here for the puzzle piece sitting in the middle. So after you grab that, go ahead and make your way out to where we fought Zaldan. I was watching one of my previous videos and I noticed that we didn't collect the puzzle piece back there. I don't know if you did. Oh, apparently I did. So it should be back here if you did happen to miss it during the battle with Zaldan. So go ahead and grab that one if you did happen to miss it. And then we will head over to, let's see, what's our next destination here? We still have two more to get in Disney Castle, so we will meet in Disney Castle. Alrighty, so once we're here at Disney Castle, go ahead and embark in the Gummy Hangar. So right here above this, you'll notice that, so just high jump there and dodge, aerial dodge and grab that puzzle piece at the top of the arch. Then make your way through the courtyard and then fly around to the door on the opposite side. Totally went to the far right instead of going to the left. So go ahead and make your way up the stairs here and then turn around at the top of the staircase and we will get this puzzle piece right here with the glide. And after you gather that, go ahead and make your way over to this door here where we'll get our last puzzle piece at the Timeless River. So go ahead and make your way over here to this orange So after you've gotten that puzzle piece there, go ahead and make your way down the corridor here and into the pink room where we will meet again for the Timeless River. Alrighty, so now that we're in the Timeless River here, go ahead and make your way to the Wharf. And then go around to the waterway and then back to the pier. And once at the pier, you'll notice the puzzle piece we couldn't get before on the top of the tree, so just 
high jump and aerial dodge up there and grab that last puzzle piece. We can check our journal here and we have golden mickey heads all the way across. Golden mickey heads across Beast Castle. Golden mickey heads on the Olympus Coliseum. Golden mickey heads on Agrabah. We have our golden heads on the Land of Dragons. We have our golden heads on the 100 Acre Woods. Golden heads in Pride Lands. Golden heads in Atlantica. Now we have Disney Castle. And the Timeless River. So we're still missing a piece in Port Royal. And we're still missing a piece in Halloween Town and another piece in Space, Space Paranoids and a couple more in The World That Never Was and a bunch at Radiant Garden. So we will see each other again at the Port Royal for our last two puzzle pieces. Right here at Port Royal where we end up, go ahead and pretty much land at the Black Pearl. So once you're here at the Black Pearl, if you remember me in a previous video speaking about the one that we couldn't get, make your way to the top here. And now that we do have glide, aerial jump and glide through the little hoop there and grab the puzzle piece. Then after you've got the puzzle piece, go ahead and speak to Jack. And you'll want to go to Port Royal. Gather. So as we get off of Port Royal at the harbor here, you want to climb up on these boxes and then look to the right and then jump, aerial dodge, and glide into our last puzzle piece in Port Royal. So after you've gotten those two puzzle pieces, you can check your journal. Make sure that you're not missing anything. We have all Mickey heads aligned for the story characters, treasures, pieces, and maps. And I will see you in Halloween Town. So as we make the Halloween Town, go ahead and embark and get off at Yuletide Hill. Go direct behind you back into the hinterlands here. We need to make our way to the Curly Hill. So once it's on the curly hill, you want to immediately jump up on this curly branch here. If you don't get wrecked by these boxes. And once on top of this curly hill here, you want to jump, aerial jump, and then glide over for our last and final puzzle piece in Halloween Town. So check your journal. We have all of our Mickey's heads right here. And so I will see you guys in Space Paranoids. All right, so as we make our way to Radiant Garden, go ahead and get dropped off at Anson's study. And then access the computer here. And then you want to head over to the pit cell. Now once inside the pit cell, you want to make your way on this platform to the canyon here and then jump and turn into the left over here hop up on the highest ledge over here jump aerial dodge and give it a good glide right to the very final puzzle piece that we have left so once again you can check your journal at this time we should have mickey heads on all of the tops here and our next stop is the world that never was. We are still missing four pieces there, all of which require glide. And then the rest of the puzzle pieces are in the Cavern of Remembrance, which will be a separate video by itself, along with the remaining chests. So if you take a look at your chests, we should have every chest available to us in the game, except for the rest of them that are in the Cavern of Remembrance. So I will see you guys in the world that never was. 
Alright guys, now that we've reached the world that never was, go ahead and get off on Twilight's View. So once you get here, make your way to the top of the staircase, right about here. Jump, aerial dodge, and glide all the way around the corner to collect the sunset puzzle piece at the top of the door here. So after you've gathered that puzzle piece, go ahead and make your way back up to the top. And through to the next door and take the elevator up. And then you'll notice a puzzle piece up there. So what we want to do is hop up on this ledge, the second one up here. Jump, aerial dodge, and then glide over to it. So once we've gotten that second piece, go ahead and make your way all the way up. And once inside the Ruins and Creations Passage, you want to make your way all the way up to the very top on the last platform. So once you're all the way up here, what you're going to want to do is jump and then glide. I missed that last one, but uh... you can get it if you have enough momentum and speed if you didn't fumble on the second one like I did. And try to visualize the path on the bottom so you don't get caught up on the invisible walls. And then collect our last and final puzzle piece for the world that never was. So once we check our journal here, we will have Mickey heads on everything except for the character links. So at this moment, uh, I'm going to include pretty much the final puzzle pieces to put all of the pictures together. So if you'd like to stay and watch how the pictures go together and pretty much copy them, you're more than welcome to. So after you finish the duality, you'll be getting a rare document, which is a synthesis item. And this is Frontier. This is the Heart. You'll get a Serenity Crystal for this. This is Awakening. The executive ring gives you 30 AP, so it's actually a, a nice ring if you're kind of short on AP. But this is how daylight should look. And then our sunset here. This is kind of jumbled at the moment because we still have some pieces to collect.
So you can pretty much just depict. There's a couple pieces out of place right now. But uh, not much you can do until you receive the other piece of the puzzle. But this is what it primarily should be looking like when you're all said and done. So that wraps up our puzzle piece collection here. And the uh, next puzzle pieces are in the Cavern of Remembrance, but you should have every puzzle pieces collected up to date, as well as all the chests that isn't including the Cavern of Remembrance. So I will see you guys in the next video, which is the Cavern of Remembrance.